Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Hope you're keeping well and safe. If you're new here or if you haven't subscribed to my channel already, please remember to smash the subscribe button and like the video as well. So today we're going to be making an infinity maxi dress as part of the title of the video. And the materials we're going to need would be the um, African print fabric. This is actually a kente print. We'll also need a zipper so this is we're going to be using a zipper for the back of the skirt and we'll need a um, measuring tape some pins scissors and of course a sewing machine and um, so now that we've got in our equipment we'll get that out of the way the next thing we'll do would we'll need is the measurement so i've tried to draw just ignore my drawing I've tried to draw um, the maxi, the infinity maxi skirt, just so when I'm going through the measurements we need, you kind of know what I'm talking about. So for the skirt parts of this um, infinity dress, the waist band would need two, one for the front and one for the back of the waistband. And the measurement, so for first of all, my bust measurement is 40 inches. If we divide it, if we divide that by four, we get 10. And the reason why we need the bust measurement is so we know how wide we want the infinity bodies um, to be. And um, we also need the waist measurement, obviously, for the waistband of the skirt, and then the hips measurement. We don't really need that that much, but I've just thought to put that in. So my waist is 32 inches, and I'm going to divide that by two to get 16. So for the front piece and for the back piece, so we need two pieces for the waistband. For the skirt itself, we also need two pieces, one for the front and one for the back. For the bodice bits, we also need two pieces, so the left side and then the right side. Well, I've just because it's the same thing, I've just left one of that. So with getting the measurements and then with the skirt itself, so the width of the skirt from selvage to selvage is going to be 40 inches. So that's what I'm going to be using for the width of the skirt. And the length of the skirt, I'm going to be using the whole length of the African print um, fabric and it's usually 45 inches long. You can use whatever length you want your infinity maxes if you're doing a skirt um, or sorry, if you're doing a dress or top, obviously you use the length you want it to be. So I'm using a 45 inch length. I'm also using the width as 40 inches. So I'm doing two, one for the front and one for the back. So for the waistband, like I said, we're doing one for the front, one for the back. My waist is 16 inches, so half of my waist is 16 inches, and I'm adding three extra inch for seam allowance on the side, and also for the zipper allowance. So all together, each of the waistband piece will be 19 inches, 19 inches long for the front and 19 inches long for the back. Would have excess, but then we can cut that off. Um, and for the strap, like I said, it's going to be two. So a waist divided by four, which is 10. I'm adding an extra five inches because we need to, we're going to be using a quarter of an inch to um, hem the sides of the um, bodice strap. I'll show you what, that, what I'm talking about. And then the extra five inches, depending on the style or how you want it to be, um, it would be nice to have that extra amount of fabric and so, so it's going to be 15 inches and then the length of this um, strap I'm using 90 inches for the length because depending on how you wrap it you want it to be able to go around your waist um, a few times so I'm doing two of this because we need one for the left and one for the right okay so with the fabric I've cut out the fabric of um, and the things I'm going to be using to make this hair. So, things I've cut out is I've cut out the pocket piece and in my maxi um, skirt tutorial, I did show us how to cut out this pocket piece. I have also cut out the um, skirt itself. So I have done two. So this is the front piece and the back piece. And each of them is 40 by 45 inches. Like I said before, I've also cut out the um, strap piece 
and this is 15 inches and the length of this is 90 inches long and I've cut out two pieces for this and for the waistband I have cut out two like I said one for the front and one for the back so for the front, because we're going to be putting the infinity strap inside, I have made two of this and I've used interface for the front as well as for the back. So the back is one whole piece. I've just folded it in. And the front I've done like this because then by the time we sew this part to the skirt, which I'm going to show you in a bit, we can put the strap in between here, which I'm also going to show you and sew it in. The other thing I need to mention for the back of the waistband is we would be doing half of this and then cutting this out because then we can um, put the zipper, like I said, we're putting a zipper at the back of the skirt. So you can use a zipper or you can use an elastic waistband, whichever one you want to use. But for the purpose of this project, we're going to be using a zipper. I'm going to show you what we're going to be doing. So that is all the pieces we're going to need to make the skirt. I would um, start first with the front. I'll show you what we'll do and then um, go to my sewing machine and get it done. So first of all, for the front, I have notched the sides. I don't know if you can see that, where we're going to be putting the pocket. So if I get one piece of the pocket, it's going to be right sides facing. If I put that in and then pin this in place. Yeah, I'll do this for all four sides of the skirt. So if I, I'll just do this front since I'm we're talking about the front for now. So get another piece for this. So we have notched or snipped. I would put this pocket. So this is going to be a hidden pocket. Right, so I'll go to my sewing machine, sew this, and for the um width of the skirt i would gather this so it's up to um 16.5 or 17 inches now the 0.5 or the extra one inch would be for the same allowance because we'd need to sew the sides of the front to the back so we need that extra one inch for seam allowance we're going to be using half an inch and um, seam allowance for both sides so i'll gather this up and when i gather this i would add one of this to the gathered piece and then I'll come back and show you um, what it looks like and what we need to do. So that is for the front piece. For the back piece, which is pretty straightforward, it, we're going to do pretty much the same thing. So if I open this, I can see I have notched the sides as well. So again, front side facing, I'll get the pocket, pin that in place, I'll take this to my sewing machine and sew the pockets onto um, the back piece of the fabric. I will do that for both sides. So this is one half because I said we're using a zipper for this. So that is what one half of it looks like. And then for the second half, we've got this. So I would pin this in place. Yeah, and then take this to my sewing machine and sew it. The other thing we need to do is for gathering the waistband itself. So the front, I gathered 17 inches, so extra one inch for um, seam allowance. For this bit, um, so it's going to be, my waist is 32 divided by four, that's eight. But we're going to do between nine and a half and ten because then we've got half an inch for here and then we, um, for joining the back to the front and we also have the zip allowance which we're going to be joining the two sides with so again use um, half of your waist measurements divided by two with the seam allowance on the side I'll gather all that together and I'll also put the waistband for um, the back piece 
so when I finish I will put the waistband on each side then I'll come back and show you what I've done so far I have um I'll just show you what I've done right let me start with the bodice so I have this is the whole 90 inches in the length and 15 inches width so on one of the sides I have gathered it up like this and I've just left the rope on the side because I will show you what we're doing with the waistband so that is the two sides for the back piece I have put in the zipper I have sewn the skirt I've also um, overlocked the side of the pocket and I've put in the zipper for the front piece so I have just put one of the sides just ignore all of this because I did this in error on the right side I had to take it off to put it on the um, wrong side so I have sewn this cat the pockets as well on the sides and I've also overlocked it so what we'll do with the bodice piece we're almost done with this now is with this one find the center of the front waistband then I've just notched it so what I'll do is I'll take one of this um, bodice piece right, so for the other half again I would spread this remove this pin so this is going to be one inch across the center I'll pin this in place again give just um, space on the side and then pin this and then just pin the rest and try and gather the spread out the gathers so it's even across the front of the waistband right so I'll just pin that in and then just pull one more pin okay so that is how the front that's half of it so the other thing we'll do now is we will get the other half if I can find it okay so for this um, for the other half I'll just pin this in place um, from one side take the spins out and then just carry on pinning it because then what we're trying to do is we're trying to sandwich this body strap in between the two waistbands um, that's the front piece because we divide it into into half so between the front first half and the other half so we'll just spin this in okay so now that we're done pinning it so it's going to be looking we can take this to the other side and then start to pin this in place so it's going to look something like this i'll just pin a few just so you get the idea of what we're trying to do with this front waistband so this would be like this I usually don't pin a lot of these things but I'm only just doing it just so when I flip it you kind of see um, what the finished look would look like you can understand you know what I'm trying to say so this one more pin just put that in place so what the front would look like it would be something like this so this is what each of the pissing fronts would look like let me just spin this down all right so each of the fronts piece would look like something like this okay so that is the front pretty much done 
by the time you sew it all together and you can see I've also hemmed the sides if we get the back piece now we've put the zipper in place for the back if we do front side facing get the side and I'll just briefly get that in so we'll take this to the sewing machine after we finish sewing this front waistband in place would we'll put the back piece on the front piece and then would we'll sew it all the way from one side using a quarter of an inch all the way round the pockets and then to the hem of the skirts so we'll sew it all the way this is front side facing and then just to be sure that we've got the right um, waist length is when we've done quarter of an inch if we put the waist band on would we'll see that it would give us 16 inch because at the end of the day we want to have 16 inches on here so by the time we saw a quarter of an inch as well all the way we would have a um, 16 inches for the waistband so we'll take this to the sewing machine i'll sew all the sides so it's going to be pretty much done the other thing that will be left is to put the slit now the way i usually put the slit is i would let me take the spin out so for the front of the skirt most times because it's got this line with african print i tend to always just follow the line and then just cut it off like so if i'm following this line i can just cut it something like this just to get that slit if not the other thing you can do is you can measure i tend to measure about 10 to 15 from the side so if you see this this is about what 12 so between 10 to 15 from the depending on where you want the sleeves to be and then just bring it to the center and then we'll just hem the sides all the way through and that is the skirt pretty much done i will take this to my sewing machine sew this up and then come back and show you the finished look i have finished literally pretty much finished making the skirt so this is what it looks like now so that is the body's wrap around piece see how long it is so with this length you can wrap it how you want wrap it around your body a few times and it would still be able to go around and this is also the width so it can cover a large area of your bodice and then we've done the waistband we've done the body of the dress and then i've also done the slit so that's that's what it looks like so that is the dress pretty much done the next video I'm going to be doing, I'm going to be doing um, how to style this dress, so multiple ways that you can wear um, a dress like this. Because I'm going to do that after this video, I would probably come back and link it to this video just so you can um, have an idea of different ways you can wear this dress. And yeah, that is it, pretty much done. This was quite a simple beginner's tutorial and hopefully you like it if you have if you've enjoyed the video so far if you smash the like button um click on subscribe and turn on the notification bell so when, when i post any upcoming videos you get notified i'll see you in my next one take care bye